Myths and legends. Things that chill our bones and tickle our curiosity. Reality or just something we inherited through history? Are you ready to find out about something new? Hi guys, so before we start our video today, I would really really appreciate it if you stay until the end, I have a huge announcement. So, that said, let's start our story. A while back, approximately 60 years ago, there used to be a coal mine in a small village Poznanovets in Croatian Zagorje. And as all dark places men once used to dwell, it carries a dark story. These mine tunnels are an elaborate labyrinth and a big part of the underground tunnels led through the forest. Once the coal mines were closed, in the 1960s, they became a playground for curious teenagers and small children. Now here is where our story begins. It is still uncertain if the stories were made up by elders to prevent children from coming to harm, or if the stories are true. But we are here for the spooky part of the tale, right? This legend starts 10 years after the coal mines were closed. One day, locals started noticing deep holes in the forest. Thinking that the mine tunnel started collapsing, a few older men went to the holes to fill them up with soil. But once they came to the hole, they started feeling uncomfortable. Allegedly, the forest grew completely silent and as they came to the first hole, an unbearable stench forced them to stand back. They ignored the stench thinking that a wild animal must have fallen in and died. Before filling the sinkhole, they decided that it would be smart to throw a rock in and just listen how long it would take before the rock hit the ground. But as the rock touched the ground, something awoke in the darkness underneath. The legend says that they heard a scream, horrifying and like nothing they have ever heard before. The ground started trembling underneath them, followed by a heavy, yet fast footsteps. And as all went silent, they saw it. There, in the darkness of the mine sinkhole, they saw two reflective eyes, giant eyes followed by a stain so rotten he made them throw up. One man even claimed that he saw a fur-covered claw reaching out. But these men didn't stick around to find out what it was. Later that day, as one of them sat by the table, telling his family what happened in the forest, his mother listened in silence. She listened, and as the story went on, she became pale and started shaking. But she let her son tell the story to the end. Once he was finished, his mother sent the children away. They disagreed but listened. As they were left alone, the story she told them was so frightening that her son swore he would never return to the forest again. And the story goes as follows. Once there lived creatures known as Podzemniaki, in the times where fairies and giants still walked the earth. They were known to be the evilest beings on the world. No other creature could live close to them, as they would devour everything that came near their feeding ground. Afraid of daylight, Podzemniaki made their habitat under the ground. They moved around by digging long tunnels and caught their prey in deep holes. It was said that Pozimnyaki were big as bears, with filthy, sharp grey fur and giant yellow eyes. They moved around on two feet, using their hands and long claws to tear apart everything that fell down the hole. They were followed by a rotten stench of death, and their scream frightened even the fierce among the creatures. She said that her grandmother told her of legends about the fairies uniting and scaring them away from these parts, just before they also retrieved away from human sight. The word about Podzemniaki spread quickly, 
and everyone was too afraid to venture to the mine sunk holes. It is said that now and then a group of young brave men would go looking for Podzemniaki, only to return in absolute fear. Stories even say that curious children would go missing after wandering to the woods. But if there is something behind these stories, we will never know. Today, the holes still exist in the forest, but there haven't been any reports of Podzemniaki in the past few decades. Only the stories remain. Perhaps they were only educational tales meant to scare people away from danger. But maybe we should even consider the possibility of Podzemniaki existing a long time ago. Whatever may be the truth, be sure to avoid deep holes in the forest if you come across one. Maybe a Podzemniak is just waiting there, under the cold ground, to kill you as its prey. Hi guys, so lately you are more used to listening to me than seeing me. But uh, the reason you are seeing me today is... Um, I have a huge announcement and, and I really can't keep it in and I, I wanted to share this with you. But first of all, I would like to say thank you to everybody who is sharing these videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, for everything you do. It really helps me a lot. It, it, it uh, I know, gives me courage to, to carry on and uh, doing what I love to do. So as uh, probably most of you know, I am a creation-based author. For you who don't know, yeah, I have four published books in Croatian and uh, I have published my first book in English a few months back and it is called Storka. It is a dark psychological thriller based on um, a mythological creature, Croatian creature, like, yeah, uh, that's, well, you guessed it, named Storka. Uh, if you haven't read it um, or if you want to see see something more about it, I will post a link down below uh, to, the, to the place where you can buy it and read more about it. If you want to hear something more about it, you can scroll down and, and look at my previous videos. I'm talking about it a lot. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the big announcement. Uh, my second Croatian published book is coming out in English uh, very, very soon. I don't know the month. I don't know the date, but I know it will be soon. And I am so excited, I wanted to share this with you. So uh, this book is called House of Durga. It is, again, a dark psychological thriller. Uh, some describe it as horror, but I, I really wouldn't put it in that, that genre. Um, the book is about uh, three young girls who have committed a crime I say like that, uh, a gruesome crime when they were kids, so on the bridge of puberty, and uh, it is the whole psychology about how their lives uh, went on from that point. Uh, the book is about peer pressure and uh, how some choices can affect us as kids and, and later on in life. So. Uh, I, I really wouldn't want to spoil it a lot and I will be making a complete different video only about House of Durga. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I, I couldn't let this, this opportunity pass and I, I'm so excited I had to share it with you and just say hi in person. So guys, thank you once again so much for, for everything you do, for, for listening to these videos and uh, yeah, I will hear you next week and you will see me in the next video very, very soon. So uh, have a nice day, guys. Bye.